The new chest of fortune is upon us, and it looks better than we could have ever imagined. But to reach it, first we must take on the fabled Fort of Fortune, battling through waves of skeletons before facing up against many skeletal lords. And whilst this tale was prior to the appearance of the newfound treasure, there is only one small difference, which will work in your favour, so you can complete these even easier from now on. Join me, Captain Daddy, as I show you how to take on these menacing forts, even as a solo sloop out on the Sea of Thieves. As you awake from the tavern or sail around the seas, you will know if a Fort of Fortune is active by this sound which ripples throughout the skies. But if you didn't hear that, then the giant skull in the sky with glowing eyes, nose and a crack in the top will give it away. Not to be confused with the normal skeleton fort with glowing green eyes or the fort of the damned with red eyes only. In this particular adventure, I was just clearing up from a previous fort as I heard the horn and from then on, I sold all of my loot in preparation to take on the foth. As you arrive here, you will be fired at by the cannons, and some forts are harder than others, usually causing much damage to you before you're able to park up. One thing that has changed amongst the seas is that once you have arrived and sailed close enough to these islands, their cannons will cease fire and no longer keep you checking on both the horrors of the fort and your ship for any holes. This will mostly affect solo sloopers, who will have to deal with all of these things happening at once so that your vessel won't end up like mine did on this fabled day. Once you're on the fort and skeletons have stopped firing at you, it's time to start with the skelly train. Now, depending on how many firebombs you have, you'll perhaps want to save these for the captain waves to come, as the first few skeleton waves are much easier to take out. First up are the normal bony boys and girls too maybe, who knows, but these are the easiest, however rather fast, so make sure you're running them around, shooting and slashing them up. Other skeletons that spawn are golden ones which are more slower but tougher, however there's a simple trick to taking these out. Just kite them down to the water and they will all rust and slow down, leaving them all to be one shotted by any gun. Don't use your sword on these guys though. Next are what I call the seaweed skellies, which are pretty self-explanatory, however keep them away from the water as they revitalise themselves and you will find them taking a little longer to kill, but despite this, they are just like the regular guys. But these last ones are the biggest pain. Shadow skeletons hide within the dark and are impossible to touch until they are exposed to light, whether that is daylight, your lantern, or what I find works best in this situation at the forts, are flares fired from your ship. Once they are shown, they are stunned and then you can take them on as if a normal skelly, but like them, and like the seaweed ones, they are all pretty fast. Going back now to the fireball trick, making sure you're away from water and any shadow skellies are revealed, run up inside of the main fort before getting them to chase you in circles. All you need for each wave is one firebomb and some food in case you get shot and as they are all bunched up, the fire does not go out until they have all perished. This was a neat trick I learned from the famous Captain Falcor and have used ever since, however occasionally a few stragglers were left needing a little encouragement to decompose. This works super well on the captain waves as three skeleton captains will spawn and by the time all their little minions have burnt up, they will be weak enough to finish off quickly and easily. Small note here to try taking out the ones with ranged weapons first, as these can be dangerous whilst you're trying to fend off others. This is the general strategy you want, quickly getting through the skelly rounds before burning them all with the captain waves, however don't expect everything to go swimmingly. Other ships will be more than ready to take your plunder and sink your ship, and you must stand and fight. Using the fort is an excellent way to do this, and whilst I was in trouble, having another sloop heading straight for me, a few accurate cannons fired sent them away to not return. After a lot of waves, finally the first of the skeleton lords will break out, the mutinous helmsman and once defeated, both the two-faced scoundrel and the duchess will rise, 
My plan for the section of this fort is to get on board my ship, firing cannonballs at them which tends to not take too long and really helps speed up the process. But if you'd like to do it quicker, I hear tridents are great for this, however I have not tried them out yet. Finally, once these are finished with, an Ashen Lord will spawn and for this, make sure your ship is parked a little further out, as you do not want to be hit by his meteor attack. Again, tridents will work very well, but I have not tried and very soon, you will be the proud owner of a fortress key and a vast amount of loot, including the chest of fortune. Now one very important note is that nothing is yours until it is sold. So grab whatever you want and sail away to the nearest outpost, as once the skull disappears, people will know you're there with all that loot. All it takes is one ship with more pirates than you to come over and sink you, leaving all of the loot for them. And if you think that's bad enough, try losing all of the loot and not being able to return as the world begins to change, which removed any and all of the treasure from the fort. This is a valuable lesson as many times you will sink and lose what you have worked so hard to achieve like I did which you can see live over on my Twitch but other times you can fight for it and come out on top making for some of the most epic moments and if this helps you out amongst the seas be sure to like this tale and subscribe and click on this previous adventure for another epic moment inside the seas. Arrgh.